How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. For this week's Samsung Galaxy Smartphone Tip of the Week, I want to show you how to add an email account to your phone. So obviously if you want to get your emails uh, right on your phone, um, maybe you've already synced one account, but you might have multiple email accounts. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So what we're going to do is in the center of the phone, we have our app drawer right here. We're going to tap on that button right there, and we're going to look for our email app which looks like, where is it? I passed it up, sure did. Right here, the one that says email. We're gonna tap on that. And what we wanna do is go to our settings. So right at the bottom of the screen, we have our menu button here. We're gonna tap the menu button and tap settings. And from there we wanna tap add account. So tap add account. And then here you're gonna put in the email address and the password. Um, and as soon as you put that in there, uh, in fact, let me go ahead and fill that in. Uno momento. All right, once our information has been entered, so email address and password, we're gonna hit next. It will check to verify the information. And then um, the app will ask you how often do you want your phone to check for new emails. Uh, I would say go ahead and change this to um, period to sync emails. I would say, uh, all uh, because basically you want your phone to look for emails probably every couple of hours unless you don't use email very often and then you could set it to maybe like once a day or three times or every three days but if you get emails frequently you want to set this to all and then you want to say hey um, do you want to do it every hour do you want it to automatically so it constantly is checking every 15 minutes, 30 minutes, hour, two hours, four hours, once a day. You kind of have some flexibility of how often your phone is checking for new emails. Um, you can also have a special schedule set for the peak hours of the day. So between 8 and 5, you can actually have it set so that it, it searches uh, more often. So you can do that automatic push, but only in that busy time of the day. After that, we're going to go ahead and hit next. Um, it will process the request um, and here this is where you want to put your name right here because that's the name that will show up when people email you and after that you're going to hit done and that's it your account is officially synced and now whenever you want to check your emails you're literally going to find that same app so we're going to go to our app drawer and look for the email app and there it is right here. Now, you may notice something specific that you have an email app and you also have a Gmail app. Well, just to distinguish the difference here, Gmail, the Gmail app is only for Gmail accounts. So if you have an email that is not a Gmail, and by the way, Gmail stands for Google Mail, so it's still an email account, it's just a email account uh, provided by Google. So if it's not a Gmail, then that's when you would use the email app. So Yahoo, AOL, SBC Global, Hotmail, etc., etc. Okay, so those are just the main differences. But this is how you add an email, and hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and have a good one.